two, one, go! Alright, so I will be answering your questions about nutrition. What goes in your mouth? Are you ready? Let's freaking get it. Three, two, one, let's go! If you are confused about what's going on, I advise you to go back to my previous upload. That YouTube short does a quick overview why I made that video. My brother's basically asking about protein uptake and how that can help with his nutrition and his training and his workouts. Okay, so the core you buy, yep. you eat, why you buy it so much? I want you to eat after workout. Is it protein, uh -huh. carbs? What is it? How does it put it for the body? Uh, uh, cut. Let me just say one thing real quickly. Notice how my brother said, why do you always buy this so much, etc, etc. You gotta find the foods you like and then you just stick with them. Find the proteins, etc, the carbs, whatever you like. As long as your body takes it well, know how your body responds to foods. Once it works well, stick with them. One thing I wanna say real quickly, all these packaged foods, yes, they're great, but had them in limited amounts. It's best to cook your foods from raw, from scratch, to get that raw chicken. Cook your mince, cook your fish, etc. Why? Because you know what's going in your foods. Right, where were we? Oh yeah. So the first thing I always say, when you're going into little, look for anything that's high in protein, yeah. always say, look at the different contents. So these are, these are both quads, right? Yeah. So which one would you buy? You're not, you're not gonna be sure, right? No. I always say, look at the back. So if you turn it around here, can you yeah. see, can you get, is that on camera? Can you, can you see that? Protein, fats, carbs, etc. Oh yeah, yeah. So look, look where it says 12.1 grams per 100 grams, right? Yeah. So this one would be in grams, 12.6 grams. So, so I'll get this one. one higher, but then you always want to check the fat content as well. Yeah. So if you look at the fat, this is 9.2 grams. And then on this side, this is 13.1 grams. So I'll initially get this one. This is for the back people who never hear. This is a masterclass for my brother or anybody who's just trying to understand how protein manipulation works. With your training, everyday life, just trying to understand how protein works. You don't have to be this detailed. Once you understand how protein works, you can just do it your own way. This is a breakdown of how protein manipulation works within the body. I always say when you come into a shop and you look for nutritional content, look at the nutritional information and look for protein per 100 grams. Mm -hmm. So this is high in protein as well as you've got your carb source and your fuel yeah. for you to actually get, you know, grow and yeah. obviously nurture in your own what you're doing. So yeah. I always say look at the nutritional content. Mm -hmm. ah! Basically what we're doing now is we are walking to oh. uh, to go get prawns and go look up a carb bar, carb bar it's new stretches and everything, honestly guys. So guys don't mind me, we're just walking around. Pause, freeze like Michael Jackson. So you see that aisle that says high protein? I have to literally skip it. Why? Dairy, so it's like yogurts and cheese that are high in dairy. High in protein, but I cannot digest it because I'm lactose intolerant. So I have to literally skip past that aisle. Sad times, that's why I always say, understand your body, know how your body works because whatever goes in, you need to understand how you can manipulate it within your daily life. Let's get it. I've pretty got a big group, I've pretty got a big group. See how much you asked you about the chicken wrap? Yep. Same thing here with the prawns, how does it your body? So the same thing with the prawns is exactly the same thing. I always tell, look at the nutritional content in the freaking thing. So it's, it's expiring soon, no? So yeah, check the expiry date, of course, first of October, yeah. right? But the nutri nutritional information is always at the back, so say per 100 grams, etc. So yeah. protein, protein, protein. 10.1. 10.1. But at, at the same time, this, why this is different from the pod? This is much more healthier. Yeah. Low in fat, high in protein. As again, you can always weigh out the weight as well. But it's the same thing, always look at the nutritional information in the back. It's high in sugars, high in um, um, saturated fats. Just always be careful. But yeah, it's literally the same thing. Fitness is not as hard as it, as it seems, you just gotta be smarter with it. Basically. So, where the mess is the same thing? Or is it the same Mince is the same thing, high source of protein. Mince is a red meat. Red meat is very different from how you're having your chicken. Um, even fish is very different as well, but mince is a red meat. And always, you need it in your diet as well. It's good for your, bread, your red blood cells. Again, it's the same thing. Check the, the protein content as well. Can you see it? What does that's it say? That's a lot of protein. 90.8, but I always go for the one that's lower in what? Carbs. No, lower Carbs. in, yes. 10%, I always go for the 5% one. The 5% one is lower in fat. And a quick hack as well, the turkey mince is actually high in protein. Oh, 5% one too. Yeah, so the turkey mince is actually high in protein. So yeah, that's a lean, 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 l
Yeah. Hence why I didn't always get the turkey meat, I always get, I just get this times two. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you need red meat, you need red meat into your diet because yeah. it's quite healthy. How many times should you eat it a day? It's not about how many times you eat in a day, just try and be consistent with it. That makes sense. Yeah. Find a protein that works for you. Everybody's find it, yeah, everybody's more different. When you find a protein that works for you, just kind of stick with it. Like, I like chicken and minced prawns and I have the same thing. Everyone's different. You might like, I don't know, you could like, you could prefer beans. That makes sense. Yeah. You could prefer a certain type of fish. You've got to find what you like and stick to it. We good? Wait, let's have we get an electric meat. We eat. I don't care. We eat. We eat. Okay, cool. You're talking about the 5%, 10%, 15%. At the end of the day, all, the only thing that matters is calories in, versus calories, calories out. Yeah. So we're eating for the entire day. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. So it's not really about 5%. Yeah, that adds, it all adds up, but it's what you're eating the entire day. Yeah. You can still be, you can be have 15% but still in a, be in a deficit. As it's still eating less, you can still be losing weight. Well, that's true. What's this thing that they always say with big muscle men that just can't run or they're just immobile? So my brother's been going on for the longest saying that I cannot beat him in a race. Bear in mind, I used to do sprinting back in the day. I said, you know what? One day we're going to race. And that day came today. Don't play with him. Why? Because he's not the one. Watch what really happens. Rewind. He's not the one. Three, two, one. Go. Don't play with him. He's not the one.